You're not the boss of me. I am the boss of everything. I do what I want. Ah, you do it, but I still am the boss. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Fucking hate you. Yeah, no, you don't. Yeah, what can I do? Yeah, nothing. Nothing but start this beautiful issue <laughs> 51 of Comic Century. And today we have Peter. Yeah, it still smells like vinegar in here, Peter. Do you, I, I don't smell it. You don't smell vinegar? Don't smell All it. of a sudden, I think your neighbors might be cleaning. It might be. Yeah, because I smell like it's weird. Like, egg -y, was... like, you know, when you ever did that science test where they put the egg in vinegar mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you take the egg out and yeah. it smells like that weird egg? It's all like rubbery and stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's yeah, why it yeah. smells like that egg. Maybe. Oh, Easter's around the corner, right? Oh, is that what they're doing? I mean, they're painting eggs. But why would it smell like vinegar? You use vinegar to paint them. No, you don't eat water. No, it's and vinegar. Dye or no, it's vinegar. Yeah, it, it makes the it makes the paint thick more. Oh, I thought it tore out the shell and. Well, made I, it. I don't know. Because I remember in science experiments, we throw the egg into no. the vinegar, and the next day you come. No, back, you you the you, shell would be gone. Yeah, yeah, you put the the paint in the vinegar. Is that where you dip it in? I mm -hmm. think you dipped it into water. And no, got that. I mean you could do it with water, but the vinegar is better. It's better. Yeah. Well, you have to like uh, hard boil them first, right? Yeah, so it wouldn't smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Might know. be that. Could be. I don't know when Easter is. I think it's this week or... Mm, I don't know. When, I don't know. When baby Jesus' birthday? Uh, December 25th. Oh, then what the hell are we celebrating? Oh, when is baby Jesus' death? His second, no, it's his second birthday. His second birthday? His resurrection. Baby resurrection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, in that case, his death just happened yeah, then. Yeah, We just killed baby Jesus. Congratulations. No, I don't know. No, 30 days. Right? Lent, right? Three days. Oh, so it's like Ash Wednesday is when he died, right? Uh -huh. And then... 30 days, he comes back. 30 days? Yeah. Three days. I think it's 30. He came back in the third day. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, maybe. Three days. It wasn't 30. Then what the hell is Lent then? Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a time where you give up, you know, something yeah. that you really like. Mm -hmm. And that's how, that's all I know. It yeah. gives yeah. up something you really mm -hmm. like for 40 days. Or 30 days. 40 days. 30. It's 40 days. Oh, the 40 days that they spent in the desert. Uh, or 40 I, years I, I or whatever. 40 years, right? The 40 years they spent in the desert. <laughs> that's something else, but okay. Yeah, and it's 40 years. All right. I'm pretty I believe sure. you. Yeah. 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 All I'm right. Look it up right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not aware because, you know, I follow the teachings of Rao, the, Rao. Yeah. the Kryptonian sun god. <laughs> I'm a big spaghetti monster guy. Oh, myself, well, yeah, so I mean, so, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. my background is definitely Catholic or okay. Christian. Yeah, no, or something or other. Yeah, whenever I get I get surprised to say Great Rao. Great Rao. <laughs> Rao. <laughs> you don't say Great Caesar's Ghost? No, no. Great Rao. Great Rao. Rao. Rao protect us. <laughs> Rao will be our leader tonight. That's pretty fucked up if you think about it, because like, like, that was their god, and then yeah. like, their son blew up. Yeah. So it's like God is like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't have that problem if they had a spaghetti monster for a god. I mean, maybe. But they always think it's funny that like, like Joe Rao was a big follower of Rao, but he's huh. a fucking scientist. Yeah, you can be a scientist and believe in God. I don't think you can. You can. I don't think you, you can. can. I you think can that's like the opposite of science. Where's that coming from? From outside. That was loud. She was loud. That was very loud. Yeah. Was she like giving a tour? I don't know. Was that a ghost? Oh, man. Did it sound like right behind <laughs> yeah. me? Yeah. It was pretty loud. That right was pretty right loud. Right me. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah. It could give me a little bit of chills. Yeah, no, me too. Me too. Hair stood up in the back of my head. Yeah, okay. That was uh, good. Yeah. Fucking creepy ass yeah. fucking place. Yeah, well. I'm going to stop recording in the dark. Well, go, go lead dark? <laughs> Fuck, dude. Imagine. <laughs> No, I'm down. I'm not. <laughs> You're not down? Made for Halloween this All right. year. All right. So anyway, great row, huh? Yeah. My, yeah. my yeah. god could beat up your god. I don't think so. Yours blew up. He blew up a planet. He was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. So my yeah. man doesn't do shit like that. But does he? No, he's a spaghetti and meatballs. And what does he do? He flies around. He's delicious. And that's it. <laughs> done. Can you eat your god? I could totally eat my god. I think you should, though, right? Maybe probably. Yeah. If I could do whatever we want. All right. All right. Fair enough. That's uh, the cool thing about being part yeah. of the spaghetti monster yeah. cult. I mean, religion. <laughs> religion. <laughs> Speaking of gods, they're doing a, um, they just announced a, a new Marvel event uh -huh. called Gods. Uh -huh. And it's uh, Jonathan Hickman. Yes. Um, I don't know what is going on. I, I saw a little preview. It looks like everyone's turning into a god. Maybe. That's or what it like, looks like. It's just like. I have no idea. Yeah. But Hickman's back. And I feel like, I feel after, uh, after what he did with Fast Four yeah. and Avengers and then the X-Men, they're just like, do whatever you want. Here, here. Just, just fucking have fun. Blank slate. Have you a know? good time. Um, because you know what? In the end of the day, like, it doesn't matter what he does because yeah. they could just be like, all right, well, that was cool. Bye. Back to status quo. <laughs> right? 
And that's what they did with all his books. Yeah, like I, I, I it's funny. The only, yeah. the only one they're really holding on to is the X Men. Yeah, because he's not working on that anymore. Right, like at all. He hasn't been working on it for a while. But all those books are made to look like his books. Because ah. Hickman, by trade, is a graphic designer, mm-hmm. which is weird. Um, and he likes to do like these like um, like blueprints, and like he'll be like, "Oh, this is." Cocoa and like uh-huh. you know, having, you know, and he'll just have these like these like layouts with his, like infographs and whatever, right? Like here's the nursery, here's the medical yeah, buildings, yeah, yeah. here's the where he'll show you like the, yeah, like the like the, the the architectural layouts. Yeah, but he'll also do like like files and like you know infographs and whatever. Yeah, and it's weird and it's like it's kind of cool, but after a while he's like oh, I don't fucking care about this anymore. Oh, uh, but he's building worlds. Yeah, I mean, what do you want? But all the X Men books now have yeah. that shit. Oh, yeah. That whole white page in the intro. That, yeah. oh, this is where this is looking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is like, I guess, but I, I think it's like, I don't know. It's nice for books where you don't know where you're at yeah. or where the world yeah. is too big. Yeah. You know, I understand mm-hmm. that. It's shit, Lord of the Rings, shit like yeah. that. But like, this is Krakoa. This yeah. is a little island. Mm-hmm. This is not too much. I'm much surprised asshole. that they've kept it. Like, they didn't, they haven't rebooted it. Because he left like a really easy yeah. reset button in the story. Just blow it all up. Basically, because yeah. he made a, um, well, I mean, I guess it's, it's been like three years. So yeah. <laughs> he made uh, Morgan McTaggart the most powerful mutant. Weird, right? Yeah. Yeah. And her whole thing is if she dies, reset. The timeline reset. Yeah. So he, it's easy. They like, just kill her. Yeah. You know, and uh, they haven't done it. So. But they kind of stopped her from doing the reset thing. Yeah, they, 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 yeah. The they, they, like, they, they, they powered her over. Yeah. yeah like, so if she dies this time, there's no reset. Dead. Yeah, she's dead, dead, yeah. yeah. That's how they'd ended that bullshit. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, it's an interesting concept. And I think, I think it's, I, I get why you don't, why you want to get rid of it because you're just like, yeah. oh, it's, it's too easy. Cop out. But I don't think you should, I think you could do it without completely getting rid of it. I think you just, yeah. you know, I don't know. Well, here's the thing they told her that this is what happened. They kind of made it look like this. Yeah. It could be like, no, they didn't do it. Yeah. They just made her think yeah. so, so she would stop doing the it. The thing is, especially with X Men, it's always stuff like that. Because I remember, yeah. like, um, I didn't read, I read bits and pieces of it when it was coming out with the yeah. Grant Morrison uh, X Men stuff. And I didn't read it all until, like, years later when they, they collected it in trade, remember? Yeah. And I remember the thing that bugged me so much was that he did so much with that, that with the, 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 the continuity. But, like, typical Marvel, like, they're like, oh, people like Zorn. Oh. And Zorn was revealed to be Magneto, Magneto in yeah. disguise, right? But then they bring another Zorn. But they're in. like, "Oh no, he kidnapped the real one and had him held captive." And da 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 da. And I was like, "I guess." And, and he a, had the same exact power. Yeah. Because yeah. So they brought him back, but then it was like, "Oh, Zorn had a twin brother yeah. who thought he was Magneto, yeah. and so he like." Posed as Magneto, so the Magneto Wolverine killed was Zorn's twin brother. And like, yeah, oh, I fucking hate the real Magneto. Yeah. It's so like soap opera, you know? Like it's so like. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I remember those days. It just, it just, I don't know. Like I feel like, to me at least, I think the coolest part of like a continuous continuity, yeah, is passing the baton. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, like, like I did, I did this. Okay. You're next. Like, yeah. like you know, like finish this shit. Do whatever you want, but like leave my shit alone. This is what this is your starting point. Yeah. You know, and it's very rare in mainstream comics nowadays. Yeah, everyone returns to yeah. shit. We retcon mm-hmm. stuff. Decides to do whatever they want. Yeah, Because, yeah. you know, yeah. there's no such thing as continuation anymore. No, and unless it's convenient. Unless it's convenient. Unless it's you convenient. know, like, I mean, I think the one time yeah. um, when Bendis was doing Daredevil, yeah. I was like, this is cool. I'm like, I was digging what he was doing. And at the end of Bendis' run, Matt Murdock goes to jail. Right. And then they're like, Ed Brubaker's picking it up. And I'm like, oh, how's he going to do it? And then, no, he, he left them in jail for a year. For a year. Yeah. Wow, yeah. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, all right, all right, all right I'm down with this. Yeah. You know, this is cool. Um, but it's very like, uh, I think I think it came out recently that Dan Slott is really bad at that. Like, well, Dan Slott, when, if he's going to take over a book, yeah. well, he doesn't like it when he leaves a book and then they, they, they're like, all right, we're starting from. Or, like, it yeah, he yeah. but he doesn't like that. He it pisses him off. Well, yeah, it's his stuff. He built yeah, it. Yeah, but then at the same time, it came out that he's very notorious. Of, like, he, if he's gonna take over a book, he'll reach out to the writer finishing the arc and be mm-hmm. like, "Hey, you need to." And he'd call it. He, he'd say, you, "Grooming you, them. You need to clean the slate <laughs> on this character." <laughs> it's funny. You know, I like, and I was like, "Oh shit!" And I started thinking about. It. I'm like, it makes a lot of sense because huh. before he took over Fantastic Four, yeah. 
um, Bendis was doing this thing called Infamous Iron Man. Right. Where it was uh, Dr. Doom mm -hmm. as a good guy, right? Right. And he was like, his face was fixed and the whole thing, right? And at the end of that book, out of nowhere, it felt like it just came out of nowhere, he gets fucking thrashed and like his face gets all it's fucked up again. And then that's how it takes over Fantasy Four. And Dr. Doom, he's back to fucking evil, business, business as usual. Like, you evil, know? That's a very, uh, yeah. You know, all right. And I was like, wow. Like, you know, and it's. It, I don't know. Like, and it's funny because uh, he had a long, Dan Slott had a long run of Iron Man. Yeah. And then they brought in this TV guy. I forget his name, but he's done a bunch of TV shows and whatever mm -hmm. to write Iron Man. It's pretty good from what I've been hearing. But in Dan Slott's Iron Man book, he souped up Tony so much, like, ridiculous. Like, oh, Tony no. could reboot the cells in his body. What the hell? Like, it's not a healing factor, but yeah. literally, like, he like. You could get a new arm if you wanted to? Yeah. He could make himself younger. He could do, you know. Oh, what the hell? And what's even worse is he created this freaking, like, hard light armor. Uh-huh. So, essentially, he could be like, I need a Hulkbuster, and it just it would become the Hulkbuster. Oh, wow. He made him, like, crazy powerful. Wow. Okay, sure. Um, because I remember, I remember when Dan Slott took over that book, he said, oh, it's going to be Rick and Morty meets fucking uh black uh what's that black mirror black mirror okay and i was like oh that sounds cool yeah and then sure enough that's exactly what he did right yeah. when the new guy took over oh yeah and he had him dating uh the wasp what the hell okay. tony went and the wasp uh uh they were together sure why not and it was interesting it was it, it actually kind of worked You're like i guess you know like, mm -hmm. right, fucking the first issue of the new writer first page who dies he breaks up with Waz. Of course. He's just like, it's not working. <laughs> yeah, of course. But it's like, no, like, it was, it was just, it was just like, no, nah, we're not doing this anymore. Yeah. And then uh, she's like, all right, whatever. And she fucking just takes off. That's it? Because she's just like, oh, you're a flake. And like, you know, like, I figured you're, this was going to happen eventually. So she's just fucking oh, like, fine. Oh, boo, boo, boo. Yeah. So she takes off on him. Yeah. And then he takes that fucking uh, hollow, a uh, hard light armor thing. He puts it away. He puts it away. Of course. And he's like. You know what? I'm feeling kind of retro. Oh, and he fucking uh, puts on the 80s armor. Uh, right? Well, okay. <laughs> and the whole reason for this was because... The one with the exhaust on the sides and shit? No, the, the, the one that like, looks like it has sleeves. He's yeah, got the, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Exhaust. Um, and so, yeah, he puts on the 80s armor yeah. because he's just like, I don't trust this newfangled technology, okay. right? Okay. And it, it's a cool story. It's a cool story. But then, like, the only reason he did all that was because the new writer, for some reason, was like, oh, I want Tony and Hellcat to get to get together. Which is a thing right now. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, okay, I guess. <laughs> it's a thing right now. I don't know. Yeah. But it's always funny. It's just like they, they, they don't just, you know, like, because back in the day when I started reading comics, that's what it was. Like, you know, like, you'd read a storyline. Yeah. New creator would come in. And keep it going, keep like it going. you know, like you know, that, and, and I mean, they would do their own thing, but it was just very, yeah. it was still like you know, like oh, Wolverine's bones yeah. and a man team got taken away. Yeah. Let's give him regular bones. And he's keep still, it yeah, going. yeah, yeah, you know, oh, he's more savage. He's, you know, yeah. Oh, you know what? We're done. Let's put him back in his bones. Yeah, eventually, got to do it. You yeah. know, but yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, I it's just kind of sad that they don't do that anymore. Have a good time with what yeah. you got. Right? I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean. Everyone wants a clean slate. Everyone would rather yeah. do what they want to do. No one wants to continue with someone else. I mean, I guess, but I mean, like, if you're, I don't know. No, when it comes but to the creative process, you know? But I mean, I mean, a clean slate is a clean slate, but also, like, yeah. there's, there's stuff that's, like, you know, fundamental to those characters that you have to, like. Here's the thing Marvel says, here you go, go for it. They yeah. don't have, say, here you go, but you must, blah, 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 blah. Well, no, but I think it's just like... You know, it's the previous writer that did according to mm -hmm. me. You know, it was the guy that's coming yeah. next is going to be like, please stop doing that. I, my character is going to be doing X. You yeah. Know? I don't know. That's weird. So if anything, it comes down to the creators, you know, let fucking Dan talk to whoever's coming next yeah. and be like, this is what I'm going to be doing. Yeah. I don't know if you want to pick it up yeah, and take it, it out. Yeah. yeah. You know? I guess. It's, I just, I, I think it's just, I think, I, mean, I think it's more... It's easier to do a clean slate because way easier. Yeah, yeah because if, if you're if you're, if you're told, all right, you're picking up this book. Yeah, but this is what's been going on. Yeah, and you need to figure it out. Then I, why? It kind of forces you to be more creative, though. I think. Yeah, but then you're not telling the story you want to tell. You know, I guess. and that's what they all want to do. All these writers they want to tell their story. But then, I, you know, I, do you want to tell your story? I mean, I would doubt. I, I would. I, I would figure it out. Do you want to tell you I mean, I, I, one or two? No, I think you continue could continue or start a new I slate. I think you could do both. Continue or start a new slate. 
I think you can do both. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you to give me I'll two options. I'll continue. continue. I'll continue. continue. I'll continue. continue. All right. Yeah. It took you a while yeah. to get there, though. Oh, but I... <laughs> Took you a while. Cause they look at like like, like Spider Man yeah. right now. Like Spider Man right now. Yeah, they it's all f- over the place. It's all over the fucking place, <laughs> and they're barely fucking explain this whole Mary Jane thing. Yeah, their powers right? and shit. Yeah, and no, 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 why they're not together anymore oh. and all that. They barely explain that shit because he has powers. No, <laughs> <laughs> but then the whole thing is like, I was just like, that's the most fucked up one because yeah. I think because Nick Spencer spent like fucking three or four years on that book. Yeah, gets them back together. Yeah, and then. A so, book later. And then a book later, they're like, oh, no, we're not together anymore. Yeah. And fucking... Not only that, she has kids, and, and she's married, saying, they're the dude. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then they're just explaining that. Yeah, I don't like that. That yeah. bugs me. That bugged me a lot, too. Yeah. You know? And then when she had power, they're like, no. Yeah. I'm it's out. kind of dumb. I'm out. Out, out, out. <laughs> but I don't know. I, just, I think it's like, it's a mainstream comics thing. But you know what? They do that in independent comics, too, because I remember I was talking to someone recently. Yeah. So Kirkman and Tom McFarlane had a book called Haunt. Yeah. And it went like... I want to say like eight or nine issues. Oh. And it was cool. Like, I dug it. Like, it was, you know. But then they gave it, like, they didn't want to work on it anymore. But they, they continued it by, like, giving it to a whole new creative team. What the hell? And I never read those books. But I remember seeing the covers, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, so they turned it. It turned into a whole different thing. Uh-huh. And um, it did all right for a little while, but then eventually it stopped. Yeah. And now McFarlane is using that character in one of his many Spawn books. Oh, boy. But he, like, back to fucking, you know, where he was. Like, back to, you know, the business, business as usual, you know, like. I, I mean, you know what? Superman. Superman's another good one. Yeah. He constantly does yeah. that, you know. Yeah. He'll yeah. go, he'll soup up, mm-hmm. power down. Yeah. You know, go live in a farm for a while, yeah. <laughs> have a kid. Well, you know? that's, the thing, that's the thing. I think the, the, the tell of a good Superman writer yeah. is what, you, don't, you, do, you don't do two things. You don't kill? You don't. You don't depower him, right? And you don't make him evil and shit, right? Okay, right? Because yeah. that I think that's fucking easy. Like that's yeah. the easiest thing, right? Yeah. Um, depower him. What are you talking about? That's the, the best one. He no, has man. sex with Louis Lane finally. <laughs> oh, he does <laughs> in, in the current books. Oh right? my god, how they do that very carefully? Like this is great, bitch. <laughs> oh no. Then I call him no, it has me rolling in it. Like, so they we spent a whole like year and a half mm-hmm. of Superman as a gladiator right. on War World, right? Mm-hmm. When he came back, now he's got a Superman family. Right. Like they 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 branched it out. It's super, you know, Superman, super, John, yeah. Connor, Steel, Steel, Natasha, yeah. Supergirl. These two kids he brought back from War World. Yeah. And uh, the the freaking all new Superman the, the, from China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're the Superman family now. Fucking right. So all he like, needs a dog. Yeah, he comes out to. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. But there's this really funny bit. I was busting up where like they're all hanging out in uh, in Lois and Clark's uh, apartment, right? Yeah. Like, right. A condo, or whatever. And um, fucking Jonathan goes in. And he's like he's looking for a blanket or some shit. And he's like, oh, I think I got one right here. And he opens the, the closet. Oh, no. And the fucking gladiator costume oh, my God. is like hanging in the closet. And he's like, he's like, mom, why do you still have this? She's like, none of your business. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <sighs> it's only been a year and a half. Like, I went through some traumatic shit. Yeah. And she fucking telling, here, honey, put this shit on. Put this on shit on. And rail me, <laughs> <Right>. baby. <laughs> Rail me well, <laughs> and it's just funny that it's just like this, this whole like. I mean, it started with Bendis. With Bendis, yeah. he made a big deal about like, like oh, they 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 bang and this and that, mm-hmm. and I'm like, all right, like you know, how Superman, he's very like uh, careful. <laughs> That's why I like the old uh, Christopher Reeves second movie, yeah. whatever. He depowers. He, he depowered just. <laughs> yeah, just to get it on. Yeah, you know, yeah. Made sense to me. Yeah, yeah. That's what every guy does. Yeah. He's Superman, though. He's just, you know, he's very careful. Very careful. I mean, it makes sense because, like, he's that powerful, right? So, like, just fucking walking around, he'd be, like, wrecking shit, right? Like, That's you know? true. Every so, step he takes, yeah. he technically, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, it makes sense. So, you're saying he's got Superman so is a very romantic and caring, oh, caring lover. Yeah, of course he is. <laughs> he's not the rough and tumble kind of guy, you know? You know? He's Superman. He's Superman. He's a loving, he, caring. He was uh, raised on a farm in, in hey, small those, those, kids, uh, those kids can be rough and tumble. <laughs> I mean, maybe. He, just saying, you know? But, you know, you know he's not. Yeah, he's not. He's, he's Superman. very caring. Yeah, you know, puts yeah. that Marvin Gaye on. And, you know, just the two of us. Superman. Yeah. yeah. Fucking A. 
that book is, the, the the Superman books have been really good, but the thing is like we're talking about like the, the whole weird mixed continuity yeah. thing. Because like <laughs> in Action Comics, Lex Luthor uh sent out fucking uh Metallo to fuck with him. Right. And then in Superman, he's trying to be a good guy, right? Right. right? And they finally like in the latest issue of Action Comics, uh Superman confronts him with Metello and he's like, Yeah, that was before I made that offer to you. Like, you know, like oh. you know, that was before I was mad at you, you know. Yeah. I was still mad at you. So it's still continuity. Yeah. But it's that it was like, oh, it just happened before. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I like that because it's like I mean it's kinda dumb, but it's also like, oh Well like, when you're sharing like four books, yeah, it's kinda yeah, hard to keep yeah. track, right? That's true too. Is it back to four books? Almost, because it's action, Superman, and then there's a Jonathan the Kent John one. one yeah. uh, Adventures, and this is gonna be another one. Oh, they already not the steel one. Okay, that's five. Yeah, that's five Superman. Yeah, books. and then there's gonna be the Supergirl one, I think. That's six. Yeah. Six, six, six. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, that's more than the Batman books right now. Oh no, there's like there's, more there's, like, there's like twelve Batman books. <laughs> one day, one day we'll get back. But they like the idea of like Superman family, like like it's yeah. it's it's something they don't really like work with a lot. No, you know, and he does have a family. <laughs> yeah. Originally consisted of nothing but animals. Yeah, but, yeah. But <laughs> I get it. You know, you got to have that backup. And I actually like the fact that they brought back the freaking uh, the Superman from China because it's like yeah. it's really interesting because like it's one of those like New Fifty Two ideas mm. that kind of got lost in the shuffle. But I like the fact that he's like, no, no, this guy's powers like me, so he's part of my family. Like yeah. he's, you know, it makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, but he's not from Krypton, though. No, no. he's like a clone or something, right? No, you know it's even worse. Like the continuity of that is yeah. so mixed up because yeah. he, okay, what he is when the New Fifty Two Superman died. Mm-hmm. He fired out a huge like solar flare, right? And the Chinese government was able to collect some of that energy, and they exposed this guy to it, right? And then he got Superman powers, like it rewrote his DNA to become Kryptonian. Too. To a point, like he had Kryptonian abilities, yeah. Because it did the same thing. Um, there was a book, which was the greatest freaking cop, not cop out, but <laughs> like bait and switch, right? The DC ever pulled. There was a book called Superwoman, that was in uh, Rebirth. Ah. And it was, there was a Superwoman Lois Lane. Yeah. And people were like, what the fuck is this, right? So we find out that when the New 52 Superman died, he, saw, he fired out this solar flare. Lois and Lana were there when he died. Oh. So they got directly exposed to this energy. Right. But one of them got so, no, so Lois got traditional Superman powers. Mm. Lana got electric Superman powers. Oh, boy. <laughs> right? Okay, sure. And... They started advertising the book with, with, with Lois on the cover in the Superwoman costume, mm-hmm. and anyway, right? She dies in the first issue. Lois. Lois. Oh, shit. She gets fucking disintegrated. Oh. Gosh. And dies. She becomes Red Superman. And then, and then uh, Lana, that becomes her book. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, they advertise it as Lois's book, uh-huh. and then she dies in the first issue. And then it, the rest of the issues were, were Lana. Were fucking blue Superman. Yeah. No, she was, was in the, she was red. Red Superman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. But she got the she had the electric Superman powers. Huh. And that was an interesting idea. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then, but then uh, it made sense though because um, in Rebirth they brought back pre fifty two Superman. Right. Right. And pre fifty two Lois and Jonathan. Yeah, which is the core family. Yeah. So if you you had to kill them off. To explain why you know yeah and yeah. they already did Superman and you know, all yeah. needed was Lois yeah and Jonathan was just that's an added bonus so. yeah <laughs> okay but here's the thing that's what I'm saying that the, the Chinese the, the Superman for China yeah. doesn't make sense anymore because so what happened was he got irradiated by by the 52 Superman's power mm-hmm. right I think Lana doesn't have powers anymore I don't know what they did with that okay but anyhow um so they did this whole storyline where like it was pre-52 Superman pre-52 Lois mm-hmm. and then Jonathan and they were in the so Superman was dead. Yeah. And so he was like he took up the mantle of yeah. this. He was living in a time bubble or some nonsense. Right? Yeah, it was or something. Yeah. Time. And so he was taking up the mantle. And then I thought it was really interesting because there was a book called Trinity. Yeah. Where basically Batman and Wonder Woman were like, "You look like our friend. Oh. You have his powers, but we don't know you." Right. And so it was like it was basically like the Justice League was like. Oh, we need him. We need Superman. And then, but it's not. But they were like, Superman. we don't know that guy, right? And so, yeah. like, that whole book was about them getting to know each other. It was pretty interesting stuff. It's like Rick and Morty. Yeah. Okay. But it was actually really cool because it was because pre fifty two, new fifty two Superman and and Wonder Woman had a thing. Mm. They were like together, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And I remember in that issue, she tells Lois like, "Oh, don't worry, he's not my Superman. Like, like you you don't have to be threatened by me. Yeah. Like you know." And, and she was like, "Wasn't." No, she's like, "Well, well should I have been?" <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> um. 
And I thought that was really cool, but I thought it was really interesting yeah. because it was just like, like they, don't, they don't know this guy. It was, like, it was a really cool idea. Yeah. And then people complained because they were like, this is confusing. You know, a I, little. I, I don't understand this, right? A little, but yeah. I mean, if you follow the book, you should be fine, no. right? And so people complained. It was confusing. They didn't understand it. And uh, yeah, because he wasn't even Clark Kent anymore. Because, yeah. you know, because he, he Dead. Yeah. So he was like, there were the whites. Uh-huh. Right? Cool, cool. <laughs> right? Yeah, that makes sense. But then they did a storyline, which they were like, oh, we're going to fix this shit. And it was more confusing, I think, where Mixie Pill, like, mm-hmm. basically wanted to thank her for saving him. And he was just like, I'm fixing everything for you. And he fucking like, snapped his fingers and he combined their timelines. Uh-huh. So basically, they had always been in that universe. Oh. And they erased New 52, Superman, and Lois. Oh. And so it was always... You know, they were always Lois and Clark. Oh, what about Wonder Woman and Superman? Never happened. What the hell? Yeah, retconned all that shit. Oh, what? And the Wonder Woman doesn't remember, I'm guessing? or They don't really acknowledge it. Okay. Yeah, and then... Uh, but Dude, then, That was like a big thing. Yeah, like, oh know? yeah, I fucking love that book. Yeah. And it it was cool, but I was like, I guess, whatever, right? But then I was like, wait a minute. If New Fifty Two Superman never existed... Uh-huh. Then how did the Chinese, the Superman from China get his powers? Get his power, yeah, it doesn't yeah, make sense no anymore. Blurs, no blurs. <laughs> yeah. No blurs of time. So, I don't know. <laughs> He's going to get a new origin somewhere down the line. He has to yeah. somehow. Like, you know, it has to, like, you know. The Chinese government took Superman blood and put no, it in. Solved it, yeah. Mm-hmm. They had to just solve it. I guess. But, uh. That's weird, man. Yeah. How books are weird. Yeah. Messing with continuity, man. Yeah, that, that's, I mean, I guess. For someone's been reading Superman as long as we have, it's it's one of those things like you yeah. get used to it. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you get used to it. You yeah. don't really think about it until you're telling me, like, "Damn, it's a lot that's happened." Because most of that just happened recently. Yeah, in the last like two, three years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know? yeah. But then we can go back like twenty fucking thirty years yeah. and shit, you know, mm-hmm. and do the same thing. Yeah, fucking Morgan Edge and yeah. like, all that shit. <laughs> Morgan Edge, like in Mannheim and like yeah, you know, real crooks. Yeah, <laughs> real crooks. Because I think that, like, like people hated on the Bendis stuff, but he did some interesting things with it. Yeah. I just think that it was just very like out there. It wasn't selling what they expected. They were yeah. expecting like the Marvel numbers, like you know, they were, yeah. you know, and it just wasn't doing that though, that numbers. And so like they made him end it quick. Yeah. So like the, the end, the ending to both he wrote Superman and Action Comics. Yeah. And they were two separate books. Like he was doing two separate things and, and whatever. Right? He rushed it. And, and yeah, the end felt real rushed, and it just was like. Ugh. You see, that's the way it goes. Yeah. I hate when you feel, get that feeling, oh, man, they just fucking, yeah. every other page, something mm-hmm. gets settled, every other page, yeah. something gets, you know, yeah. and there's no, there's nothing left for you to fucking read at the mm-hmm. end. And like, Ugh. Yeah, because I remember, what was it, uh, Tom Taylor, Tom Taylor was yeah. doing a book called, at uh, Marvel, called Dark Ages. Uh-huh. Real fucking cool book. Yeah, great and concept. Then, and then in the middle of it, he signed the exclusive deal with DC. Oh. And it was supposed to be, I, I read somewhere that the first chapter was going to be six issues. Yeah. And then they were going to explain... There's gonna be another six issues later on, yeah. And so he couldn't do that anymore. So literally, he wrapped it up in in the, the six the six issues. issues. It, the last issue feels so rushed. <laughs> I had high hopes. No, it seemed pretty cool. The cool concept, you know, everything goes black, yeah. right? Yeah, and nothing works. Technology sucks. Technology sucks. It's yeah. all steam powered fucking Iron Man. Powered <laughs> <laughs> Iron Man. <laughs> fucking hated that, but the rest of it sounded cool. <laughs> yeah. You know? Um, yeah, and then it just ended, and there yeah. was nothing else. Like they yeah. tried to continue it, they didn't even try. No, they didn't. didn't. Yeah, no. I thought they would because they like to do shit like that. Yeah. Like, I mean, they continued what sixteen oh two without yeah. gaming, and like that wasn't good. That but was not good at all. <laughs> like, I see what they're trying to do, yeah. but it just didn't work. I think that's the problem too. Like, there's there's certain books where you're like, oh no, this has to be this creative team. Like, yeah. you don't fuck with it. Like, they have visions and yeah. stuff like that. They have, like, I always talk about. I always talk about the the, the kingdom. The, yeah. the sequel to Kingdom Come. Yeah. They're like Mark Wade wrote. Like the opening to, and then the rest was like, "What is this?" Yeah. Like, you know, it was a fun ride of weird fucking yeah. stories and yeah. shit. Yeah, and it was just like Alex Ross was pissed about that book, and he was just like, "Yeah, because it wasn't him." And, no, you know, even though they used his cover. Yeah, but you know. yeah, I didn't like the kingdom. I think it's just really like I wonder if it's like a thing where like, do they even approach these creators and say like, "Hey, this is cool, continue, it. continue it." No, no, continue it. And then if they say no, then they're like, "Oh, right, we're gonna continue we're gonna it," continue. you know, or be like, "Look." Give me a synopsis. Yeah. You know, yeah. where do you think this would yeah. have gone? Mm-hmm. But they don't, they don't, I mean, they don't care. They just want the money. Yeah. Especially when it comes to kind of mainstream comics and yeah. shit. I mean, that's why, like, when you look at something like, like an image book, like, look at like, something like Saga. Yeah. Like, if Saga was a mainstream Marvel. book, they wouldn't have taken tears off. No. 
they would have brought someone in to fucking finish it. You know, like, there have been spinoffs. Yeah. You know, the little yeah. mole dude and the yeah. little walrus <laughs> right. were fucking gonna spin off themselves. You know, I think that's the thing about independent books, right? Especially image books. Yeah. Like, like books can go away for like two years. Yeah. And then come back and you're like, that's cool. What is it, Invincible? Did yeah. they do that? They no. At one point, they were like every two months. It was it, yeah. it was slow for a while, but like they kept it going. But they could do that. Yeah, they could do that. They yeah. could do that. Yeah. To a point, right? Yeah. They could do whatever they want. They could buy one year, have one year, and next yeah. year, fucking. Yeah. I mean, that's why I, I was so surprised that uh, um, fucking Vantage mm-hmm. took that that hiatus. Yeah. And then when it came back, it was like, oh, he's not even writing this anymore. <laughs> like, he's sad. He's yeah, right now. But you know what I mean? Like that, that. I think that's a rare thing in like independent books. Like yeah. you know, I feel like independent books. As cool as they are, and then you can keep going. But the, also, the downside of it is, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. I'm just going to stop. <laughs> yeah, no. You can build your yeah. own world and whatever not, but it's yours. No one else can yeah. fuck with it. You, you quit when you're ready. You yeah. quit when you want. You give it to someone else, they're going to fuck it up. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. I mean, that'd be interesting, though. I don't know. I have this whole idea of, like, that'd be kind of cool, like, creating something. Yeah, and then passing and it passing on. And passing it on. And just, but don't fuck with it. No. And, and the first thing they're going to do is fucking clean no. slate. I don't think so. I, I, I'd, be, I'd be fine. They, they they do a clean slate. Yeah. They, they fucking retcon everything. I mean retcon. I guess one thing. But yeah. Yeah. yeah here's retro. Fuck it. Now it's a girl. Yeah. That, that's yeah, fine. That's cool. <laughs> I boobs now. <laughs> no thanks. It's an alligator now. That's cool. Really? Yeah. Cool. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'll work on that. <laughs> retro alligator. Oh. Mm. Think about it. Retro gator. Retro gator. That sounds kind of cool. Retro crocodile. No, gator. Sounds, gator sounds, yeah, sounds better. Yeah, <laughs> gator. <laughs> Alec Itro. I don't know. I think it's, think about comics, man. And it's funny because now that, that kind of concept is bleeding into like the movies and TVs and stuff. Yeah. Like that. Which is funny because I I I, didn't, I never thought about it was um, what movie they were talking about. Oh, oh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Do you know that Guardians of the Galaxy is the only MCU trilogy or whatever or series without bases that, that's had that's had had the same creative team all the way through really yeah yeah thor can not but thor is no. everyone different everyone yeah. Yeah, yeah i mean take what he did too yeah uh but like captain america same thing to captain america Iron captain america uh infinity war mm. no civil war infinity war and endgame yeah all had the same writers right but it was different directors oh yeah okay 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 yeah. Okay, let me see what else. Iron Man? No, no. Favreau did, did one and two, but yeah, that was it. Yeah, he didn't yeah. do the third one. Um, so they at least did two for the most part. I mean, so most most people, like, yeah. but, like, you know, I think Captain America was, like, I guess that was the closest one because I think, like, because, uh, what's his name? Uh, the Rocketeer guy did the first one. Uh-huh. But then the Rooster Bros did the second, yeah. third, and then they did Infinity it's War, good. and, like, they did all that stuff, but... It's still like you know. That's funny. That's fascinating. But that's the thing that I think it's interesting because then that, if you think about it, yeah. you get a new director like different it, vision, it different vision, and so yeah. like, but it's the same character. Mm-hmm. You still gotta have to fucking like, deal with that kind of you know like what the guy did before yeah, he did, yeah. right? You know. You know when I think about no, it's a uh, fucking Ant Man. Ant Man had the same director all three. All three of them. Yeah. Oh, good job. Yeah. Well, that last one was not that great, but still. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's good for him yeah. to be in all three of them mm-hmm. and try different things in yeah. each one of them. See, I think the thing with the, the third one, I think, I think the problem is, is that you need more big scenes. I mean, I guess, but I think I think the thing was like it's like like the whole, even the the second one, which was like a kind of a big movie, yeah, where he was like giant man and they were doing the, the shrinking building and all that stuff. It's still like uh, not a huge high stakes movie. Because it's outside. Yeah. And it's outside. There's, you got film. You got people to yeah. fucking pay and all that. But then when you do something like Quantum Mania. Which is all green screen. And it's just, like, yeah, no, it feels like, like it, you know, as much as. Uh, they spend less money on Quantum Mania for sure. Probably, but for no, sure. but, but, but no, there's a lot of special effects. Yeah, but. There was a, I mean, there was a lot of freaking. There was a lot of special effects on the other ones too. Yeah, but they were building whole cities. They were building whole freaking. Uh, uh, fucking, That's what I'm saying. Now it's just all special effects. It's all digital. They just get a team of good digital people. Yeah, it's just expensive, good. man. Yeah, but what do they do with those people? They fuck them over anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Yeah. But I mean, I guess what I'm saying, like, like it, it didn't feel like. I mean, that, that got a better description. Ant-Man it didn't feel movie. like an Ant-Man movie. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it just felt like... An Ant-Man short? I remember when, when we left Ant-Man the theater, uh, Adriana said, like, oh, it's Star Wars and Rick and Morty. I'm like, yeah, kind of. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is, that's not a bad thing, but it's just like... He's dragging her along. Yeah, you know? yeah. Fucking A. 
But I mean, I guess you, I guess you had to set up. I mean, I don't know how else you would set up Kang. Like you'd have to like do it in something, you know, something like this, something as small as this. Yeah, you know, because you know, people complain though, like, like, oh, how are you gonna set up Kang and fucking Ant Man's gonna fight him? And I'm like, Ant Man's pretty powerful. <laughs> like I'm like, <laughs> he was he, he yeah. outsmarted him. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, all right, cool. But I think that's what I'm saying. Like, it's like, like, like the movies, it's bleeding over into like the the way comic, you know, because. I was talking to Dre the other day, and he was, yeah. complaining, he was saying, like, yeah, people are complaining about, like, oh, I need to watch this to fucking understand this. I'm like, that's how fucking comics are. Like, that's, always that's always been. Uh-huh. I remember, like, I was talking to Javier, and, like, he saw Multiverse of Madness, mm. but he didn't watch uh, WandaVision. Oh, he was lost. So he was like, do I need to watch that? And I'm like, no, I don't think you did. I feel like it adds to it. It helps. But it's not completely, like, you know, you need to, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can, um, what are you going to you can see without it, but if you add a little bit more yeah. fucking Tabasco to it, yeah. it tastes a little bit better. But the, 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 I think the funny thing is if people complain about that, yeah. but at the same time, it's like, well, if you like it, it's not a big deal. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like yeah. again, like Javier complained about that, but like, you can watch every fucking James Bond movie. Yeah. You know? <laughs> a million times. And like that, that you know, that is some kind of continuity, you know, in a sense, you know, like, I don't know. I mean, not really. I mean, they'll do callbacks. They'll do, you know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, look, there's M. Yeah. The same M from the other M. I, I, was, I, was, I was talking to him the other day. That's what I was talking to him. I said, like, yeah. yeah, that's just confusing because it's like you have, like, oh, no, it's Daniel Craig is James Bond now, but yeah. Judy Dench is back. Like, yeah. wait a minute. Is she the same character? Yeah. Like, what's going on? Yeah, no. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She was working for them at the time. Yeah. Well, that goes into the whole, like, 007 isn't one person. It's a it's call. A, it's a monitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I guess makes sense. That would make yeah, more sense, yeah. you know? And I, I read some of those Ian Fleming books back when no. the first were coming out. Or not coming out, but like I first yeah. found them. I didn't get, like, from one book to another, yeah. there was continuity flaws, in yeah. people, but not flaws to the point well, where, like, it's just the way the book yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. I know, know the biggest complaint is, like, the early, he's more of an assassin than, like, a fucking spy. Like, he's he, he, yeah, yeah, he's kicking ass he's, and he's killing yeah. people. Oh, shit, right? <laughs> yeah. They make him look cooler in the movies yeah, than in the fucking yeah, thing. Yeah. He's not out there playing Baccarat, like, yeah. you know, yeah. and shit or whatever he does. Yeah. You know, he's not a martini shake and not served. Yeah. I think it's the other way around. Yeah. He stirs up the martini. But, uh... I don't know. I, I think it's funny that, like, you know, because like, people complain yeah. about, like, this whole, like, oh, we got to cut down. Like, Marvel's, like, we're cutting down on shows because, you know, people complain. Don't fucking watch it. Like, I'm like, I'm like Easy <laughs> as that. Keep doing what you guys are doing. You guys are getting money anyway. Yeah, like, just fucking do it. Like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, no. Because yeah. I, I heard who was telling me that, like, I guess, like, Miss Marvel was, like, the least uh, watched show. Really? In the whole, all of last year or whatever. And I was just yeah. like, I guess, because, you know what? I think. People people get upset because they're like like oh what the fuck is this this is not you know and yeah. it's not for you because they never read that yeah. fucking book it's it's a newer book and no. all these people are complaining yeah. are like thirty years old yeah. and read that first Captain Marvel yeah. when he was a dude yeah. you know? no but I'm saying like, you know what I mean like I think I think it's just like you can watch it and like yeah. you don't have to watch it like yeah. it just it's just like they're just trying different things and I think it's like because I think that's the thing it, it, it always kills me and that people will complain yeah oh it's too different. But then you do the oh, it's the same bullshit. No, no, no. You're like it's like you can't fucking win. I know you can't. You know? you know what? You can't. And that's one of the good things about Miss Marvel and like the Moon Knight and all mm-hmm. that. So the little block yeah. that came out around that time. I didn't know that much about Moon Knight. Yeah. You know, what I read was very little. Same thing with Miss Marvel. This new Miss Marvel. No. I read when she first came out. Yeah. And that was about it. Yeah. I had a good time with it. Yeah, it's fun. It's, it was, it's yeah. different, you know. It was totally different. Yeah. You know, Moon Knight if I can appeal to my little gothy side. <laughs> if I can make Marvel if you appeal to my pop side. Yeah. Know? Well, I think that's the thing about those shows, too, is it like, that's the kind of stuff that, like, I don't think they could have done it as a movie. Like, I don't think it would have worked. I think you needed to flesh out, like, way more. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, like Moon Knight, I liked a lot. Yeah. That couldn't have been done as a movie. I don't think so. Uh, I mean, it felt like a movie, though. It felt like no, a really long yeah. movie, but that's all those Disney but, movies. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, yeah. I, I don't think you could do, like, oh, I'm going to do this in two hours. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, no 90 minutes can be. Like, yeah. Can hold yeah. That shit down. Yeah. So I think, I think that's a good part about all this. You know, like. like um, but here's the thing. With, now with this show, what am I doing? I'm tapping on the thing. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. The, the, now that we have the show out, mm-hmm. we 
set of bases. We yeah. can easily make it a movie now. Yeah, oh, a yeah. special. Oh yeah. You know, something yeah. small. We don't have to go again another series, another no, twelve it, no. issues or like, whatever. You've introduced them already. Now yeah. you could throw them in other stuff. And yeah. then like, you know, if people are like, Who the fuck is this? Go watch that show. It's yeah. there. It's like all there. you know. If you want to know, here's the issues, yeah. the first five yeah, yeah, issues, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. You don't have to go hunt them down and spend a hundred dollars <laughs> on a nineteen seventy three issue exactly. of, of Dracula or whatever it is he yeah. came out in yeah. you know. <laughs> Blade. Wolf by Night. Wolf by Night. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't have to spend that money. Yeah. You can just watch it, you know, and you're, yeah. you're caught up, and now you can watch whatever, enjoy the rest of the mm-hmm, movie, you mm-hmm. know. But I see, I see, I don't know. It's weird. I think it's, yeah. a, it's a double-edged sword, because I, I, I was listening to a podcast, they were talking about the whole Shazam thing. Yeah. And they said one of the reasons why they think that like it didn't do well is because it's like, oh, we're getting rid of the DCEU. Who cares? So who cares? Why watch it? And it's like, why are you judging shit like that? You know, yeah. like, it, it should just be like, I like Shazam. I'm going to go see Shazam. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. That, just, that's why I went. I yeah. like Shazam. I'm going yeah. to go see Shazam. I mean, I get that to a point. Yeah. Like, I mean, I get that. It's weird because I get that to a point. Like, like I'm going to go see every freaking Marvel movie. Because right. it's like, I especially like, like, oh, I know that character. That's cool. Like, right. I, I like this character, right? And I like the idea that it's all connected. Yeah. Like, if it wasn't, I'd still go fucking watch it. Like, yeah. I'd still, like, I'd still enjoy it. Like, you know, like me and Mark were talking about this the other day and how, like, you know, when we were younger, mm-hmm. we'd get a comic book movie every two five years yeah. right and then sometimes i and I, I told him i go and sometimes i would feel like i need to go watch electra <laughs> otherwise they're gonna not make more stuff like this you know like <laughs> yeah and, it, and that's not the case anymore <laughs> like, no. you, know, like, <laughs> you don't have to watch no it. it's you know? there though you yeah. never want to watch it which yeah. is cool yeah you know, but I mean, but then it, it, it's all about like liking shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, like that Joker sequel. Yeah. I'm probably gonna go see it. I'm not looking forward to it. You're probably not gonna like it. You know, and I'm, not, I, like, I'm just like, like the first movie. Like, I was like, ah, eh, whatever. whatever. Yeah, just, like everyone it, loves it. I don't get that. I don't get <laughs> fucking fantastic. Yeah. It's like a Martin Scorsese yeah. movie. <laughs> but see, but it's, but it's funny because I'm like in that mindset of like, I don't get why people love this Joker movie. Yeah. But then it's like. I don't get why people hate fucking Quantum Mania. Like, yeah. it's not perfect, but it was fun. Yeah, it, was, <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. You know, like, I, I don't know. My I only reason I hate it or only reason I will talk bad about it is because I was missing that one fucking Tabasco product. No. Fucking Michael Pena. Michael Pena. That's <laughs> it. That's it. That's my only thing. You know what? And that, that's the thing that I was thinking, too. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like it could have been a better movie. Just with him. If they brought him in the Quantum Realm. Yeah. Just his reactions to shit. Like, anything, like, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That would have been great. But, but. Yeah. Here's the downside of that. He never makes it home. You would be worried that he's gonna die. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> he never makes it home. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I would have been worried. Shit, I was worried someone in that post already no. was gonna die. You know. Well, okay. So I mean, we could talk about it already, but yeah, like uh, it's been um, a month. Like, yeah, it's every February seventeenth. <laughs> uh, did you know they reshot the ending to that movie? A month before release. Wow. Yeah. Who was going to die? Michelle Pfeiffer. No. They were going to get stuck in the quantum realm. Oh, boy. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Oh, no. We're going to get stuck in the quantum realm. Uh-huh. And the rumor is... For part five or whatever? That they, did, they, did, they didn't do that. Right. Because that's when they decided they were going to you know, pull it back and they were going to do as much stuff. Uh-huh. Apparently, there was gonna, the second post-credit scene was going to set up the Young Avengers. What the hell? And we were going to get Iron Lad, who was going to help Cassie try to get them back. What the hell? Yeah. Iron Lad out of nowhere and shit? No. Out well, of nowhere? You, you know who Iron Lad is, right? Well, who is he now? He's a Kang variant. Oh, yeah. right. Oh, the uh, Young t- Avengers. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was. He was. No. That's we had that blue face. Yeah. It was a blue, like a uh, so, like blue. So the idea was that yeah. he was going to show up and he was going to help Cassie try to get them back. From the quantum realm. Yeah. But she didn't know it was a Kang variant. Because we didn't know it was a Kang variant yeah. in the original yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, one, too. Yeah. yeah, you're right. So that was the idea. And so, like, that was going to set up Young Avengers. Mm. And now it seems like they're pulling all that stuff back. So that's been filmed? Probably. Because if they change it, that means that ending yeah. is already pretty much Probably. in the can somewhere. Yeah. Fascinating. And that's why... Uh, um, the second post credit scene was like a clip from Loki. It was like a scene from the Loki show. Yeah. Because they were like, oh, we got to put something. Yeah. 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 Which is w- so weird. Yeah, but it was cool. Cause, yeah. You know, yeah. I like this it hair. Set, it set up uh, Jonathan Major's He's going to be in that show, you know. If. Well, it's already no, filmed. Yeah, yeah. It's already filmed. It's coming out in September. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't go to jail. Yeah, he's not going to go to jail. 
I they did the poor guy wrong, man. Yeah. That's why that's why I can't become famous. No. The fucking people yeah. come out of the woodwork and be like, this motherfucker did this when he oh, was five ha- years old. It's gonna happen anyway. He was five years old, yeah. he pissed all over the pants of the Why are you doing that? I'm five years old. I do whatever I want. <laughs> you know? But yeah, I know. It, 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 it's I don't know, man. I, it, it, I'm very curious what they're gonna do moving forward. Yeah. Um, we're getting another one, right? They said. Uh well kinda. Of. We're getting uh the- Fucking Secret Wars or yeah, Kang, Kang Dynasty, yeah, and then Secret Wars. Yeah, and yeah. it's gonna be in it. Yeah, yeah. We're getting that's gonna be crazy because we're getting like two Avengers in one year. I think. Yeah, that's nuts, man. Twenty twenty five. Yeah, twenty seven. I think twenty twenty five. I think something comes on twenty seven. I forgot. Uh-huh. I'm excited for that. But then, like, well, who knows? Because they, they they're like shifting shit again. So yeah. who knows? But Phase five point five. Yeah, because we're gonna get Fantastic Four before. Secret Wars? Yeah. Think? yeah. They haven't even started filming it. No. Yeah. That, well, supposedly they haven't even cast it. <laughs> so, oh, no shit. No, yeah. Because he literally, Feige said that, like, they announced it mm-hmm. at D23, and he's like, oh, yeah, it's not going to come out for a while, so, like, we'll probably make the announcement of the cast next D23. And then people oh, were like, next year. Like, the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean a month before it comes out? Sure. No. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I, I mean, they're never going to get FF right, but, you know. You never know, man. Like, I think, uh, I'm still hopeful. It could be fun. I'm still hopeful, dude. I was hopeful for the last one, yeah, you know. I mean, yeah. but no. I don't know, like like those those original Fantasy Four movies, yeah. the um, it's Alba and Chicklets and yeah, like the thing with that one was like I wasn't fan. Uh, it was all right, like in the sense that like they were who they were. Yeah, you know, which the like, the, the, the last good. one was just like it was too dark. It was you know like yeah, they're kids. It but you can't. More, I, it was more ultimate if anything, you know. I was, it was even darker than that yeah, shit, man. Uh-huh. Like, you know, I mean, it's just very, like... Um, I mean, Doom had the hooves. Yeah. <laughs> you need to have, like, like, how do you have, like, a super dark, like, grim story and, like, the team is called Fantastic Forge, you know, like... <laughs> you call it FF. Or yeah. Or you call it F4. The fucking Future Foundation. Yeah. yeah like, you yeah. call it something. Yeah. yeah. I think the way to do it, okay, is that you have to have... Yeah. Um, some you know they have the, the blip and all that shit, right? Yeah. You have to have some kind of thing where like um, you call it the fantastic event or something like that. You know, like you know th- that's what gives them their powers. And I think that's the only way you get away with it because like like all oh, these four people got powers from the fantastic event. Like you know, like mm-hmm. I, you have to do something like that. I think. Yeah. You know? So no more going into space and getting gamma radiated or well, they, like, uh, solar radiated. Or, you can still do that, maybe. You know, because you know? that was the original, right? Yeah. They just went up to space and yeah. came back all fucked up. Yeah. You know, because we didn't know what was out there. We didn't know what was out there. Cosmic, yeah. cosmic rays. Cosmic rays. Cosmic thank rays. Thank you very much. Now uh, cosmic rays make cosmic ghost riders. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's another, that's another character I think that, like, <laughs> if, if they're going to do that. If that movie? I, I, it was one's ghost rider? Mm-hmm. Fucking cosmic ghost rider, just go all in, go all fucking, in. You know. fuck Reyes or whatever fucking. The, yeah, the, I mean, I, mean, I, mean I, want, can, I want the car. You could do that eventually. I think you could do that, but I think like a cosmic ghost rider would be cool. <laughs> cosmic ghost ghost rider that calls all the other ghost riders. Yeah, some shit, you know? that way you can get my car and well, my horse. It's funny. I, I reread uh, the Donny Cage run, and he used them a lot in that. And, yeah, and then um, and uh, he 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 wrote a uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, mm-hmm. and he used cosmic ghost rider a lot in that book. In the end of that book, they're fighting fucking uh, uh, Hella, mm-hmm. and um, and fucking Cosmic mm-hmm. Ghost Rider's like, I got this, right? And he goes at her, and she's like, I'm the queen of death. And yeah. as soon as he got next to her, he was like, Oh <laughs> shit! Like he like he bowed down to her, and he was like, Whatever you want, man. and she and she literally turned him to bone, and just like destroyed him. Damn. And he went to hell. Yeah. And I totally forgot about this. He goes to hell, and then fucking uh, Johnny Blaze shows up, and he goes, Hey, want a race? <laughs> And I was like, whoa. <laughs> wow. I'm like, that's cool. Johnny Blaze is there. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, what about Keech? You order fucking Danny, Danny Keech? Danny Keech, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess when they were bringing back Johnny Blaze originally, oh. around that time. But, but yeah, he just sees him and he's like, what a race. And that's how it ends. Yeah, that's how it ends. That's how his yeah. ends. Yeah. That's hilarious. That yeah. makes sense, though. Yeah. 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 Ghost Rider coming back. I thought I was always joking around with Mario because I think that's the only way mm. you bring in Cosmic Ghost Rider. Mm hmm. And you just have fucking Nicolas Cage come back <laughs> and do his voice, right? Because <laughs> you know what? He wasn't a bad ghostwriter, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He worked it. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm just going to say that. I, I like that second one better. Uh, <laughs> the first hard. one, he was just very like, oh, I'm doing an Elvis impersonation. And like, it was weird. It was hard, yeah. 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 
<laughs> well, my, my favorite fucking little factoid about that movie, though. When he transforms? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> was that he was so hardcore. The tattoo? That he freaking, um, he p- paid out of pocket mm-hmm. to get yeah. the skull fucking x-rays done. Mm-hmm. So that that's his skull. Oh, that you see on the TV. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I'm like, that is so unnecessary. But awesome. it's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> Now they do that shit normally. Now yeah, it's all, but yeah, yeah, back then, yeah, yeah, it was unheard of. Yeah, yeah, that's his goal. That's his it's dream. funny. Yeah. Again, that second one was better. Yeah. Yeah. It had a lot more fun, but that first one was. Ugh. It's cool. Yeah. It had this moment. Yeah. Was it fucking? Uh, yeah. <laughs> was it? Who was it? Fucking. No, the bad guy. Yeah, it was Mephisto, right? Yeah. Or was like. Well, in the second one, Mephisto was Mephisto. Was it? Well, the a version I don't of remember. Mephisto, yeah. Velasco, yeah. whatever. I don't fucking want. I don't remember. It was evil dude. I just remember it was cool. That the devil. It, was it? Was it? Uh, fuck, who was it? No what? Another famous actor, but didn't he play the the, the cowboy Ghost Rider? Oh, and then Sam he, Elliott. Was yeah. it? Was it Sam, Sam Elliott? Elliott? It might have been. Wait, kid, that, for that one little scene where yeah. he's running across or whatever. Yeah. Like, uh, and then he's, like, he's riding the bike, he's riding the fucking horse. Yeah. That's kind of cool. No, it's kind of cool. Yeah. And again, for the time, yeah. no one got that. No. No one got no. that. Yeah. And then at that point, people were like, oh, there was another Ghost yeah. Rider. I remember people were yeah. like, there's another one. Now everyone knows. Mm-hmm. Everyone and their mother knows. Yeah. You know, we had a scene about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know, man. I think, I think, uh, yeah. that'd be cool. So that's what you cast again, Nicholas Cates, who come Cosmic back. Cosmic Ghost Rider. Only if they do Cosmic Only Ghost Rider. Cosmic yeah. Cosmic Ghost Rider. Yeah. What about a regular Ghost Rider? I don't know. Like Danny Blaze. Who you get? I mean, Danny. is that, that always that everyone, like, when Norman Reedus or whatever? Norman Reedus and anything, he rides a bicycle, right? Yeah. Oh, fucking yeah. bike. I get, it could be kind of cool, I guess, like, you know? Yeah. Danny Blaze, though? Or Danny yeah. Ketch. I would see him more of a Danny Ketch. Danny Ketch. Yeah. 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 I don't know. He has that biker look to him. He right? does. He's got that, that, that you know? Johnny Blaze feel yeah, to him, right? Yeah. That's a good one. I know people are always like, oh, Pedro Pascal. I'm like, why? I don't see it. That's close, right? Yeah, I don't see it. I mean, he's got that kind of voice, I guess. Like, you know, he's got that Mandalorian voice. Yeah, like the, you know. A spirit of vengeance? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Maybe. Kind of. I don't know. I don't know about that one. I'm, I'm yeah. going to put a pass on that one. Yeah. Put a little clip on it. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. I don't think no. it's going Okay, what about Fantastic Four? So <sighs> that shit's hard, man. And you because... can't get the guy from The Office anymore. No, you know? I never saw that. I never understood that. Like, I, like you know, people were always like pushing Jim. that. Yeah. And then when they did it, I was like, oh, it's kind of cool, but like a young one, sure. Yeah, you know? I just didn't like it. You know, if you would have given me Ultimates maybe ten years ago, yeah, I could have seen him in it. Mm-hmm. You know, or Asian Jim. Asian Jim. <laughs> you know? But he's in the. He's he's uh. Oh, he's Woo. He's Jimmy Woo. He's Jimmy Woo. He's Jimmy Woo. <laughs> Best agent in the field. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. That's tough. Yeah. I think, like, I, it all depends on, like, the tone. Yeah. You go for it, you know. Well, like, we're going for Fantastic Four. Yeah, no, but it all depends on the... Like, cause it, it, we're going for America's first comic family. Yeah. You know? I mean, I, I remember reading a thing where, like, yeah. the guy that did uh, Ant-Man was, like, he wanted to make it, and he wanted it set in the 60s. Right. And I'm like, that's, that, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, cause then, but that totally changes like who Everything. you cast and how you you know cast that and the universe itself. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, and I was just like, I don't, I, it's it's tough, man. If you're doing the sixties, your your read would have to be older. You know, you can't couldn't be a younger read. It'd be weird. Yeah, but he could also get away with like like oh, cause he stretches, he because an age or whatever. Like, <laughs> well, well, that's what they did in one of the previous Fantastic Four shorts. Yeah. Like it spans the sixties, yeah, the seventies, and eighties. Yeah. Like he still looks the same, yeah. but he's just he's holding himself together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, but you can get away with that because like, like they you just do the fucking Captain Marvel thing, right? Like yeah. we're like, oh, oh, the power keeps them young, or whatever. Sure. Like I guess you know. In that case, bring back Michael Chiklets. Michael Chiklets, he's too old, man. He's too old. And to be a rock man, yeah. To be the voice of the rock yeah. man, dude. I love his voice <laughs> as a rock. No, it's time. It's time. He's perfect. He's perfect. He was perfect. Shut up. I know people like push this whole idea of like, oh, you know, they should. I, I, I you know, it's crazy, but I thought like, I'm like, fuck, that's kind of funny. It's like because it, it, you know, the whole representation thing. Yeah. And like the thing is like the most famous like Jewish superhero, mm-hmm. you know, in comics. Yeah, he wears a fucking yarmulke. Yeah, sometimes. and so they're like, like, oh, they gotta cast a Jewish guy, and they gotta do, you know, do that. and I was just like, I guess. And then like someone said it like, oh, Jack Black should be the thing, and I was like, mm-hmm. you know what? I don't hate that because it's kind of funny, mm-hmm. like you know. Because, funny again. because the thing at the end of the day, he's not a monster. No, like he just looks like that. You know, like he's yeah. he's a lighthearted dude. 
in the body of this monster. You know, yeah, what they, Alicia Kong, all soft blue eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. soft blue eyes. Like the a, rock hard man. Yeah, yeah. was it the, the um. If I can, what do they call it? the blue eyed thing? And yeah. it was like, yeah, like it, everybody's blue eyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when you get away from the like, like, I think that's what they have to do real quick. I think, um, if you're not gonna make it an origin movie, yeah, you have to make it where he likes being the thing already. You know what I mean? I, it feel bad, you don't, yeah, because then all of them, he always, yeah, feels it's bad. always like, oh, it's so sad. What did you do to me? Yeah, yeah I'm a monster, uh, no man. You know, and you, I think you gotta like get away from that. I think it yeah. has to be like he just likes being the thing. Likes being the thing. Yeah. Likes to scare the, the Yancey Street boys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's a there's a recent um, when Dan Sullivan was writing it. Yeah. Uh, Alicia and Ben adopted these kids from the Yancey Street. No, <laughs> one was a Cree, one was a scroll. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so um, there's this one story, the short story where like the son, who's a Cree, he's got blue skin. Right. He stole. Um, the projector to, to make him look human. Okay. And Ben found out and he was just like, and he was just like, what are you doing? And he was like, oh, well, you know, I, this, I look normal. I look normal. And then he's Blend like, in. he's like, dude, you, you are who you are. Mm -hmm. Just kind of like, just fucking own it, you know? Yeah, well, I'm and it's like, and it's interesting because like, it's his dad's the thing and he's telling them this, you know, like, and it's just like, you know, yeah. you are who you are. And, you know, it's fine. Um, but the funniest thing was in that was he's giving this real heart, felt you know um speech to his son and the background is these two kids and they're like gonna go pick on like on the sun and they're like oh shit it's a thing and they run away <laughs> wow yeah the thing see he has cred yeah yeah bang grim yeah i guess a happier thing is always a little bit more yeah because, like the thing that fucking he like bites the hulk yeah it's for yeah. the hulk or yeah. he like uh you know he has, he has a wrestling league and yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I always love like when he would just like randomly like oh, I'm gonna have a poker game and he'd have like all the guys there. What is it, trench coat thing? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Just yeah. you know, yeah. yeah. hanging out thing, mm -hmm. you know, because that's the only thing that he can fit him. I think yeah. At the end of the day, I think you need to have a thing that just in, in MCU you have to have a thing that just likes being the thing that just accepted being the thing. You yeah. know, like you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know. There's no ifs and or buts. Him just a thing. He's got Alicia. He's got a good yeah. life. You yeah, know? good life. You know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That was uh, a... Yeah. It's clobbering time? It's clobbering time. <laughs> the bathroom. Oh, no. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> but yeah, break. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So that was the casting for Fantastic Four, huh? But not really. <laughs> Take Michael Ticklitz. Bring Michael back. Tickler. We're just bringing Michael Ticklitz back. All right? I just haven't played them all. All the characters. All the characters? Oh. Michael Ticklitz is as, as, as Sue Star? Yeah. And Adrian and... Yeah. He'd probably be down. He needs mm -hmm. a job, right? What nah, is he doing I don't know now? what he's doing, though. Mm. Remember he had that weird TV show where he was like, he, his whole family had superpowers? Oh, dude. I love that show. <laughs> was fucking, what was it called? The Next Door Neighbors or the... the something. The something. It was, uh, the, it was like the Expendables. And then like, it was like the dude from Weeds was like a lawyer. And yeah. And like their buddy. Fucking Doug. Where you, yeah, Doug. And then uh, what Dexter's fucking wife was yeah. his wife, right? Yeah, and I remember it was like the something family, and it was pretty yeah. much Fantastic Four. Yeah, kinda, yeah, because yeah. he was like super strong, right? He was yeah. like, yeah, yeah, he was strong, and like his wife was fast, right, or some shit, like something. That. I watched that shit, and I watched that shit religiously yeah. because there was another show that was parallel to that one called um, Kyle X Y. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and they he fucking hadn't had no belly button, yeah. or... <laughs> <laughs> and that's what won me over. Yeah. Like, how did he have no belly button? How was he created? You know, it's funny. Like so yeah. when. Uh, I think it was around that time, or maybe yeah. earlier. I remember um, when we were working at uh, Dispatch. Yeah. And they would throw me like random interviews. No time to tell you that one. And no, no, no. That and then uh, there was a show. I remember it was on UPN. Mm -hmm. and it was about a guy who got like empowered with these like nanites and he could like control technology and like it was. UPN. It, yeah, it was very like Chuck. It had that like Chuck feel to uh -huh. it. Um, I forgot what it was called. But I remember they sent me the pilot. Oh, and they were like, "You're gonna interview the the main guy uh, next week," and I'm like, "Oh shit!" Oh shit! Okay. And so I watched the pilot. and I was like, oh, "It's not bad. I might watch this show." Like, yeah. Yeah, it was cool. And so at the time, this was pre-internet too, right? Uh, no, there was internet stuff, but it was just like you know. And remember at the time though, it was funny because we had we had to interview uh, Lou Ferrigno. That was a week before, and it was like terrible. <laughs> Because yeah. <laughs> because at the time I was like I didn't know how to like oh, I asked him if Bixby was still alive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh shit! That was bad. But I at the time I remember yeah. like thinking like I didn't know how to interview people that 
outside of just facts. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, because that's how I was trained. Yeah, you know, journalism, journalism, journalism one, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't know how to interview people. Like, you know, like, how do you have fun when you interview people, right? And so I remember I, we try, I tried that with Farino, and he was, yeah. he was just not having it. He was oh. just not having it. And so I remember with this guy, yeah. he was cool. He was real, like, you know, upbeat. Yeah, yeah. But it was, it was, like, cool. And I remember I was like, I, like, I had a list of fun questions, right? And one of my fun questions, I think I I told for Frank the same thing was like, because the the fucking Ang Lee Hulk movie was gonna come out, right? And I remember asking them like, oh, who'd win? Who'd win? You no. and he and he said like, the other one's a cartoon, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, oh, all right, never mind. Like, he was not having it, right? Kept you honest, yeah. Uh, <laughs> And so when I even with this guy, I remember finally seeing that like, oh, this show airs on the same night as Smallville. Oh, at the same time at night as Smallville. Somebody saved me. Yeah, so I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask my fun question. Right? Yeah. And I said, hey, I, I brought that up. Like, your show's on the same night as Smallville. Like, if you had to fight, you know, Superman. that Superman, oh. who would win in a fight? And this dude was like, well, you know, he's a, he's a fly. And he doesn't really have his full power. I think I could beat him. And, then, and he started like, breaking it down. And I was like, all right, this is cool. <laughs> all right, I'm starting to believe you guys. I was like, you know what? I'm going to watch show. <laughs> How yeah. many episodes did that last? Uh, like a season, maybe. Mm. Like even that, you know. The technology part. Yeah. On UPN, huh? Yeah, I think, it was, I think, oh, it was called Jake 2.0. Yeah. That's what it was called. I That's, yeah. Do you remember Jake 2.0? Yeah. Yeah, it's not Chuck. Yeah, no. no. But it was around the same time. And yeah. Same, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I remember that Jake 2.0, then Chuck yeah, mm-hmm. came, like, maybe it's the end of that? Or around maybe, the around, the, mid- around the same time. Because yeah. Chuck was, like, a thing that came out the same year as Heroes. Yeah. I remember because at one point they were, like, back-to-back and, like, you know. Yeah, the superhero power hour. Yeah. Which is kind of weird because Heroes is totally different than Chuck. Yeah, old big time. <laughs> yeah. But it worked. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I wasn't very big on Chuck. I remember I would yeah. actually yeah. forego Chuck many times. But yeah. watch Heroes. I know it came after that. Yeah. And I would be like, fuck yeah. you, Chuck. Out. <laughs> it wasn't until later that I discovered the wonder that is Chuck. It's pretty fun. Yeah. It's really if, fun. if you actually pay attention. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a fun show. The way I was watching it, I don't yeah, think I would have no. um, done it. It's pretty good. Yeah. It gets kind of weird towards the end. And it's like, yeah. I heard there was going to be a movie. Yeah, I suppose there's a movie. Yeah. yeah. So oh, but uh, you know what gets you real excited is... Yeah. Uh, so Bill Lawrence, uh-huh. the guy who does uh, Ted Lasso, Everything. and he does fucking uh, Shrinking. Yeah. He was interviewed about Ted Lasso, uh, from Ted Lasso, and they asked him. Where's Chuck? When's the fucking Scrubs movie happening? <gasps> and he said, it's coming. No, he didn't. He did. He did not. He said it's coming. Wow. <laughs> and you know what it's going to be, right? Because he said it's going to be an amalgam of the TV show and the college. <laughs> the college. You're going to get a Dave Franco <laughs> with fucking yeah. the Danny Tor. Yeah. That's all I want. Yeah. You know? He said it's coming. Dave Franco versus yeah. the Danny Tor. That's it. And you know, if it's a movie, mm-hmm. they should just go all in and just let Zach Braff direct it. Oh, he's he's done before. He's been doing a lot of yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, like... Uh, and he did a couple of the episodes. Yeah, today, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's done. He did a bunch of episodes of the first season of Ted Lasso. Oh, really? Yeah. He directed them? Mm-hmm. Zach Braff? Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm glad he's doing more than just commercials for Verizon. <laughs> I love the guy, you know? But come on, guy. Stop hanging out with that weirdo Travolta. <laughs> <laughs> Not Turk. Turk is cool, man. Yeah. That weird that's weird that they're doing conversions together like no. with Travolta like it's fucking weird that's a weird part to me Travolta's the weird part when him and uh, JT and fucking Turk came on at the yeah. same time yeah. I'm like this is the post scrubs I wanted yeah. <laughs> they're you know, just living next door to each other <laughs> each other you know they retire from being doctors yeah. just hanging out yeah. you know their wives are always working or whatever no. but they're just you know buddies yeah that's funny that's the movie I want to watch that's funny <sighs> I started rewatching it and I just think it's so weird that like in the first episode yeah Dr. Cox calls him by his fucking first name. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I don't like that. <laughs> John Dory? Yeah. He just called him. He goes, he goes, you have to make a decision, John. And I'm like, ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not until like later when he starts calling him, you know, Nancy. Yeah. And, you know, and, see, he could say things like that. Why can't I say things because like that? Because you're not cool like him. call him a little sissy, a little prissy. And yeah, I mean, you could. Call, but... I'm going to put a dress on you and just take you to the ballerina. Though. You know, it was good. <laughs> Can, can I do that to no, people? No, you're, you're not as cool with him. Maybe I'll become a doctor. Maybe. Just to do that? Just to fucking I mean, the people. I mean, it worked for him. It worked for House. <laughs> House? Yeah. That was different. House was like, you know. An asshole. You have to be a genius doctor. You can't just be a doctor. You need to be a genius doctor. To do, be able yeah. to do that? Yeah. Because yeah. they were like, oh, he's really smart. I got to let him do it. You know. I'll be back. 
this podcast is over. <laughs> I'm gonna go become a doctor of comics. Yeah, but they said yeah. That he said it's coming. It's coming. Huh? It's coming. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lot of Scrub fans. Um, yeah. Believe it or not, yeah. people love that show. People but what's it gonna be? Is it gonna be like like fucking uh, save Secret Heart? Fucking Kelso dies, and they're gonna oh, go to this funeral and shit. Oh. <laughs> I love Bob. Bob's a shit, dude. Yeah. Is he alive still? I don't know if he's alive. I don't even know. Yeah, he, he might be he dead. He might be dead. No, yeah. no, don't say things like that. Yeah. You're a horrible individual. Yeah. Bob was a shit. He was hilarious. Even when he retired, he was yeah. still, he's still hanging out. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Bob Kelso. Yeah. I don't know, man. But he said, he said it's coming. Bill Lawrence. Thanks, Bill Lawrence. He said I appreciate it's coming. it, man. Thanks. I, Although like, he's got to deal with it, uh, Apple TV, so it might, it might be on Apple TV. <laughs> Fuck a duck. Stop. As long as I can watch all the episodes and then straight into that. Yeah. And, and the college one, too? Hmm. The, the Dave Franco one? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't bad. It was just. I, 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 I never watched that. It was. Yeah. It, it was. It was. They try to capture the magic of the first season mm-hmm. by all of them being kind of green. Yeah. They were too dumb, I guess, to center up because they were in school. Yeah, though. yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. I I tried to. I tried it. I think I watched most of mm-hmm. them. I think I think the easiest way to do it would be like so like like that. How I Met Your Father. Like they bring back the original characters. Yeah. But they're not like main focus. Well, that's what they were. Yeah. They were teachers. They were yeah. background characters, and they, they didn't come out for much. Yeah. Like in the first one, like Ali only shows up for like the first mm-hmm. part of. The, the episode yeah. and that's it yeah. you know that Johnny Torrey shows up in like a cameo or something <laughs> and then you know that's about it well he's all old now man Leave him alone. he showed up in the, I think he showed up in the shrinking show oh really yeah he's like Harrison Ford's like uh, patient whoa and he's just like yeah. yeah okay but he's basically playing the janitor like he's just like he's very like he's he's he's, he's been seeing him for like 20 years uh-huh. and he's just like and he like he goes He'll he'll bring shit up and Harrison Ford's like, oh, we're not gonna talk about that. He's like, no, no, no. He goes, I've been paying you for twenty five years to talk to me, so yeah. we're gonna talk about whatever I want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> it's this guy at work called Dory. Yeah, right. He's an asshole, <laughs> but then I have to go home to my middle four family <laughs> right. in <the> Kansas <laughs> with my Sue Heck and my, and my AJ Hex. my weird son <laughs> Brick <laughs> Brick. <laughs> Dude, they're all weird. Brick, Axel, and Sue. Yeah, you know it's fucking weird. Those weird ass kids. <laughs> So yeah, I yeah. believe that was his alternative life. Probably was. Yeah. We never saw his wife, right? He was in the, no, uh, no. In we, the... we never saw his real name. Yeah. Or his just... real name was Jan Etor. <laughs> Jan Etor, yeah. Jan Etor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, the Scrub movie might be coming. I love it. I, like, we just spent like 10 minutes on the Scrubs. Yeah. Movie. That's awesome. Maybe like Florence Pugh will be in it. Ooh, yeah. Pew, yeah. pew, pew, pew. pew. <laughs> I love me some Florence Pugh. Yeah, man. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like that movie was it the the, the what's it the one what she did with um, something don't call me darling or Lim darling oh yeah uh, yeah what's her name directed it yeah like yeah. that movie is is all right but she's really good in it like she I like don't doubt the pew yo yeah yeah she's don't, really good at don't, it don't doubt the pew she's another actress that like she trips me out because like every movie she has a different voice yeah. And you're just like, what does she sound like in real life, right? <laughs> <laughs> she's British. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, every movie, she's got a different voice. Yeah, she's a good actress. Yeah, and, and, and it's, it's kind of believable. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like people made fun of fucking, uh, what's it, Scarlett Johansson's Russian voice actor. Yeah. You know, first, she's that, it's pretty good. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Probably one of the few people that do it, <laughs> you know? It's entertaining. Yeah. Because I mean, she's so the character is so sarcastic in the and you know in yeah. the MCU, and that voice just fucking adds makes to adds to it, you know. Anything Russian? Yeah, yeah. No, like my favorite was like in Hawkeye when uh, when she breaks into fucking um, K Bishop's apartment. Yeah, and K Bishop fucking throws something and she catches it and she's just like, "Ha!" <laughs> right? <laughs> That's just fucking funny, man. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. No, yeah. you know, didn't expect it. No, yeah, for a few. Yeah, From greatest actors over time. No. Oh, speaking before we leave, did you see that thing with the uh, fucking Jeremy Renner did his first interview post the uh, post surgeries and post yeah, uh, re- yeah. revelation? Is he all right? Did he do he looks leg? all right. No, he says both legs. He says both legs. Looks like he has both legs. He's using that that uh, thing where like when you when you on, you're kneeling on the the crutch thing or with the, the wheels scooter thing. Yeah, neat. Yeah. So, but he, uh, he there's, looks, a le- there's a leg there behind oh, it. Oh, yeah, I think oh, so. Okay. I don't, yeah. He didn't lose it. No. 
I mean, he looks pretty messed up. Like you look at him, you're like, oh yeah, like he got he got pretty banged up. But like he's never. Gonna but he's just him. like no. And they, they they asked him, you know, like you know, they were interviewing him about the whole thing. And he was apparently he saved like his nephew or something. Like that, oh, that's why he got yeah. You know, and he said they asked him, and he he's like, yeah, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Fuck it. So he pushed him out of the way. I'm guessing, mm-hmm. and did some fucking superhero yeah. bullshit, yeah. and fucking got caught in the middle. Yeah. Well, kudos to you, my friend. But damn, don't do it again. <laughs> You know? Yeah, apparently he's got a he's got a show coming out on uh, Disney Plus. Yeah. They filmed like a while ago. Oh, it's called Renovations. <laughs> Stop. No, is he Ty Pennington and Rude? <laughs> oh, kind of. So the whole thing is that he's buying a bunch of big vehicles, mm-hmm. and then he's like, "Oh, this school doesn't have a basketball court." I'm making a truck that could double as a basketball court. Like, it's really a weird. truck? Yeah, it's like a bus. Uh-huh. And it just, like... It opens up and it, it becomes a basketball court? Yeah, yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Okay. And like, he, like, there's another one. He goes to his drama school and, like, like they don't have a stage. Let's make him a stage with a truck. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. No, that's what it is. <laughs> and then he gets, like, his famous friends to come help him. And then like, they're, like... I think it was like. Do you think it was God punishing him for that? Shit? <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> you know what? You're not excited about renovations. <laughs> he said, "You know what's gonna come out? I don't like it. So let me get this shit beforehand. <laughs> I'm gonna pay you ahead of schedule, all right, You know, you're not re- excited for renovations. Nah, man. I'm gonna show you a trailer after. No, yeah, I gotta show you a trailer. It's amazing. Okay. <laughs> Move that truck. Yeah. Ty Pennington or everything. Yeah. Jeremy Renner. Jeremy Renner. He's back. Better than ever. <laughs> Stop. That's too soon. No. It's worse than my joke. D- Diane Sawyer interviewed him and shit. And he's it was like, Diane Sawyer. Yeah, 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 Sawyer. Yeah. yeah. And she's our new Bobby Wobbles. And he's like, yeah, I'm back. Yeah. Give me Boner. <laughs> Give me 12. Yeah. The new Barbara Walters. I mean, Jenner is right. a tough dude, man. Like, he broke both his arms on the, was it, the tag movie. Mm hmm. And, and he still kept and on he's doing, <laughs> making the movie, dude. Yeah, he still kept on doing the flips and yeah, stuff. Yeah. He still was doing the stunts yeah. with broken arms. Mm-hmm. Two broken arms? Two broken arms. That fool was like, fuck it. Give, oh, me, yeah. green, give me green cast. Fucking mm-hmm. color, draw them out <laughs> and pose. And Put like, them in it later. Yeah. Probably cost him more money. Oh, probably. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But he did it. He did it. Fucking room. Yeah. This guy. It's a weird movie, huh? Because it was like him and fucking Nick Miller. What's his name? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Nick Miller. Jake Johnson. <laughs> Jake, just call him Nick Miller. Nick dude. Miller. Yeah. Fucking John Hamm, right? Yeah. And then, uh, mm-hmm. what's his name for The Office? Um, um, Ed, oh, is it him? Was it Ed Helms? Ed Helms, yeah. It was, right? Yeah. That's a weird fucking movie. Yeah, no, yeah. It was great. <laughs> it was fantastic. It, the cast you didn't expect, you know? Yeah. And, and I was like, oh, cool. I mean, I guess that it has like that... The, like hangover vibes, right? Where like you're like you're like that's a weird cat. Bradley Cooper's in that movie, and, like, yeah. You know, like uh, Bradley Cooper's in Hangover too. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I guess I guess that's what they were trying to go for. Or, okay. Like I don't know. It's weird. That's a weird choice. Yeah. And fucking Renner doing flips and shit. Unkillable Renner. <laughs> Killable. <laughs> Just they stop calling him hot guy. Yeah. More like hawk lives. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And renovation. <laughs> <laughs> that's the name of the show. <laughs> Stop. That's it. You're off this podcast. Never talk to me again. Renovations. <sighs> it's gonna be a Disney Plus show. Fine. We we should do a thing. We should like every when an episode airs, we should fucking do a review of oh, our, renovations. renovations. You know what? It, <laughs> just because you know bad publicity is usually more uh, clickbait. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know. Hashtag uh, Disney Plus. Hashtag renovations. Renovations. <laughs> We can, they can send us a box or something. You know, like when they, you know, they send those people, like people that promote their show, they send mm-hmm. them like the gifts or whatever. They do? Yeah. I didn't know that. Was oh, yeah. Name. So can I promote, like, you know. What could we do renovations? Men- <laughs> no, I don't do renovations. <laughs> hey, you gotta start somewhere, man. You gotta start somewhere. I wanna start at home. <laughs> but no renovations. <laughs> how, how come we just can't be like, you know, like. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> There's nothing else. You want to do the second season of the new Doogie Hauser? I went two seasons. Yeah. They oh. just announced. They did, I saw a trailer for the second season. I was oh, like, oh. Congratulations. Yeah. I watched that first episode and I just yeah, couldn't. I, I, I couldn't. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, it's yeah. the same world though. Mm-hmm. We find no, it. it's a, no, it's not. Yeah. No. It's there's, a, there's a they thing. make reference to the show. Yeah. To the old show. Okay. 
But that's like, the reason she's becoming a doctor. No, but they make reference to the show. Like, it, like, it's a show uh-huh. in that universe. That's what I'm saying. It's, yeah. it's in that. Well, yeah. I guess yeah. That's yeah. you know. Yeah. It's part of the the Hody Hauser world. Yeah. Or, you yeah. know, we're watching it because yeah. I'm saying he can come out as. He the could, that yeah, yeah. The kid, That'd be kind of cool, you know. Yeah, and be like, I was never real a doctor, yeah. so you will never be one too. And yeah. then she like gets all broken and stuff, and then she like figures it out. And then she's like, I oh, will be a better Doogie Howser. I'm gonna call Jeremy Renner, and Sorry. he's gonna <laughs> renovate, renovate my life. <laughs> I think we're done with this podcast. <laughs> There's nothing else to talk about. <laughs> Renovation has tipped the fucking scales. <laughs> Everything else from here, people is downhill. You know, it's funny. Like I heard about this show, and I was like, "This is it real." And then I saw the trailer. I'm like, "Oh wow, it's real!" Fuck, dude, I can't believe him. Watch this trailer. Yeah, he likes he likes renovating stuff. Well, yeah. except his body. <laughs> he has to now. No, he has to. He's re- renovating his body. That's he did too. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Today I'm working on my arms. <laughs> They're both broken. <laughs> Damn, dude. Leave him alone. Jeremy Renner. I love you. Godspeed, my friend. Yeah. You know, you come back as Hawkeye. You know, or the Hawkeye with no arms. No arms. Yeah. Or, or do the, just have someone stand in for him to put his fucking face on, you yeah. know. Superimposed? Yeah. Yeah. Like, the agent while you're yeah. at it. Yeah, might as well. Fuck it, go. Give him that fucking weird mohawk thing he had. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah. That was cool. He made him that cooler. A, that was a weird haircut. Yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. But he wanted it. Mm. So it was cool. Yeah. You think when his family came back from the snap, she was, his wife was like, yeah, cut that shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is that? Yes, because for the Hawkeye show, he didn't have he it. Didn't have he didn't it, have it. Yeah, his hair back again. Mm-hmm. So of course he goes, "I get it. You missed us. You wanted to be a little wild. <laughs> yeah, stop it. You got a fucking tattoo sleeve and like <laughs> bunch of skulls and shit on it. Yeah, you're you know, edgy. You were edgy. You got yourself some leather. And yeah, some fucking katanas. Mm-hmm. You thought you were cool. That you were cool. You thought you were running around. No, nah, but no, huh? no, no. no. Like, now your- you're back on the farm, bitch. <laughs> like, <laughs> get your ass back in gear. You think like. Like, there was cows on his farm, and they got snapped away, and then they came back. <laughs> if that's how it worried, they got rid of half of life. Yeah, right? Yes. So you think, like, his animals fucking disappeared? Yeah. You think right. that's why he was like, fuck this farm. All my animals are there, too, right? Yeah. I don't need no milk. <laughs> right. Bad for me anyway. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you couldn't milk that cow anymore, right? Because you, like, you spook a cow, right? It fucks with the milk, oh, right? Sorry, it becomes sour. But then that fucking cow disintegrated and came back. Uh, that's... You know. Well, they didn't notice. Remember, a lot of people didn't notice. They uh, were maybe. Just confused. I mean, if he just comes back in the same spot it was yeah. at, I'm like, oh, where's the grass? Yeah. That's about it. Because, oh, you know, yeah, maybe. Jerry Renner didn't fucking water no. that shit afterwards. <laughs> he didn't renovate his <laughs> house. Damn it. Stop. You're going to have to stop. <laughs> the people can't take this anymore. <sighs> oh, boy. Yeah. I don't know. So. Renovate their house. Mm-hmm. Renovate. Renovate. <laughs> Can't say it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm telling you, we gotta do it. We get on a Disney radar. We, we we review this show, and we say we love it. No, we I'm not. I gotta, can't. I can't. I can't lie to the people. If you say you love no. it, no, we could meet Jeremy Renner. <laughs> you know what? No, I maybe a year ago, yeah, but now, no. We could meet Jeremy Renner. No, be like, thank you, sir, for you know, not dying, not dying, and, and you know, breaking your arms. And, and then what if he's like, you know, oh, he can renovate. You can have your fucking comic truck <laughs> built by Jeremy Renner. <laughs> Be a monster truck too. Mm-hmm. Like, Jeremy Renner, I want a monster truck, comic truck. You're like, I saw comics out of the monster truck. Yeah. The kids can be like, I'm gonna ride the truck tire. And they're like, cool, kids, go inside the truck tire. <laughs> all right, I'm in. I mean, we, all we have to do is shill for fucking renovation. <laughs> shill, 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 sell out, sell out. No, it's buying in, buying in. Oh, buying in, buying in, buying in, sell out, buying in, sell out. <laughs> Renovation. Renovation. Don't Coming know. to Disney Plus. The best show on Disney Plus <laughs> in 2023. <laughs> Renovation. Renovation. Starring the greatest mm-hmm. actor and our thespian of our time. Jeremy Hawkeye Renner. <laughs> Hawkeye. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. There you go. There right, then. All Is right. that good enough? Yeah. <sighs> Halfway there. Man, here I thought I was going to sell out for like, you know, a set of mole fucking cubs. I'm going to sell out for Jeremy Renner. <laughs> We get to go to his concerts. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to play after this shit. Maybe. Sorry. <laughs> that poor man. Alone. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Who's, so who's going to take over Jeremy Renner's spot in Avengers? Uh, Kate Bishop? No. 
But that's Young Avengers. I think I think Avengers. That's gonna be the Avengers. Oh, <laughs> like, oh. So we're naming it. Put the who young we got in. that? We got fucking Cheeto. Like he's fucking old, <laughs> right? <laughs> we got Spider Man. I guess. No. You know, we got fucking Matthew Maggie. Maggie. Like, you know, yeah, Maggie. he's pretty old too, right? We got fucking uh, Bucky. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's cool. Bucky, he's cool. Uh, Michael Douglas. You got Michael Douglas on the Avengers. Uh, fucking uh, old that man. Yeah. yeah, old yeah. Man. Yeah. Oh, Michelle Pfeiffer. Dude, there's a big old thing online where there's people saying that she should be the leader of the Avengers. No, I just want Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, just in your yeah, life? Yeah, just my life. Yeah. In your life? Yeah, no, nothing With else. the Catwoman mask? It doesn't even have to. Right. I can picture that shit in yeah. my imagination. Oh. You know? Yeah. But She's that's it. Anyway, yeah, everything. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, no. But yeah, I don't know, man. It's fascinating. Yeah. Ant Man, huh? Man, man. Mm-hmm. Jeremy Renner. Jeremy Renner. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad he's back mm-hmm. in action. Yeah. So anything else? No, that's it. That's it. We're good that's for the day. It. Yeah. Just, you know, keep an eye out for renovation. Renovation. Coming, coming soon. soon. And we have to. It's been a Comic Century day. Presents Renovation episode <laughs> one. <laughs> the review. Can't we got, they got so much shit we can review. Why do we have to go there? Because that's where the money is, man. <laughs> I don't care about money. No, no but that's, what, that's how you get in. You get in. I don't want to get in. You have to get in. Why? Don't you want to meet like the fucking no. man thing or something? And the, you know. No. I think you do. No. You don't want to no. be. You don't want to be on the album the set of. No. Fucking. Where I'm we're, currently on the set of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't. Our greatest host. You don't want to be that. No. I think, I think you I do. I just want to meet Maria Menounos and call it a day. That's how you do it. I told you. <laughs> She interviews a lot of uh, fucking influencers now. I don't want to be an influencer. Yeah, that's the only way in. I don't want to do any of that. Mary Marilla is not interested in if you're not an influencer. Maybe she is because the whole she... world is influencer. Maybe she's interested in something that's not. No, but it's just her life. I'm going to go listen to some Heel Squad. <laughs> there you go. You know? You want to do reviews on the Heel Squad episodes? <laughs> I'm down. That's how we get Maria Menounos. I mean, that's a possibility. Apparently that's the thing too. People reviewing mm-hmm. things and mm-hmm. you know, like they'll mm-hmm. they'll watch a video of yeah. someone reviewing something and, and review, review the video yeah, yeah, of someone yeah. reviewing. Oh yeah, yeah. We've uh, it's a snake fucking eating itself, man. Oh my yeah. Ouroboros? Yeah. That's, Ouroboros? that's what it is, man. It's a vicious cycle mm-hmm. and we're all just perpetuating it. Yeah. Renovation. Renovations. <laughs> we're coming to a theater near you. <laughs> Renovations. <laughs> All right, then. Fuck it. We're out of here. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> to anyone still listening, thank you very much for staying with us. And hope you enjoy next week's episode. And thank you very much. Good day. Good night. Good afternoon. And bye. <laughs> See you soon, Jeremy Renner. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs>